Hello, Balua. <gasps> you know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asav. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just... Totally crush that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up.
All clear. Now to find a way out of here. Right. Back to it. Ah, let's see where this goes. Not here again. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. Asav only respects Asav. <laughs> it's a shame, in a way, that Baloo is hidden from the world. Now we know why. Another god? I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. And in case there was any doubt this was Balor, Lord Shiva. Plus Nandi. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh. At least before he got his elephant's head. Could be. Might also be Katakeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chose different paths. <laughs> They're trying to slow us down. Yeah. In here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Hurry up. We need to get your company ahead. I see him. Okay. Done. Let's go. Shit. They blocked us again. It's a big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bar? Or a well. Possibly both.
Look up. We're in some kind of cemetery. Ah, look there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Oh, well, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kunnad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. <laughs> Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. What do we have here? Incense? Or herbs? Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? <laughs> Something big, all right. Oh, I didn't that stupid bastard tell me. I said it yourself. He wanted to keep you safe. Sarf get no. No, we can't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. Magnificent. All this grandeur <laughs> hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there?
Come on. It's deep enough. Okay. That's our way back in. We're going first, eh? You're welcome. Hi. You all right? Sorry, I just need to get my head back in the game and I'll eat. Hey! Aideen Ross! Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> Your head back in the game now? Oh, smarter. I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. can swing over now. Place is started. Top of a doorway over here. That'll work. Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. Nice work. 
What on earth is this place? The throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. Are these stairs going up? But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. <sighs> Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find Asav. Or until he finds us. <laughs> Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. The hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. Okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Coming? I'm going to search the other side. Okay. <laughs> ah. There's another crank up ahead. Here we go. Okay, I've got this one. Bringing down Shiva's drum. Oh, we'd better get a move on. Jump to the drum. I thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Hey, 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 hey now. Grab onto something. Okay. Steady. Oh. And we're good. It's time to see what's up there. Not up to me. Oh. Huh. 
run him all the way down to the hen. That's cool. Bet I need to do the same on the other side. Safe bet. I'll wait here. Sure thing. I can see my house from here. meeting you here. Yeah, let's see what's up there, shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. <laughs> that sounds promising. 
The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. You were right. Of course I was. About what? What you said, back in that place with all the statues and axes. Things always come in threes. Three points of a trident, the light split into three beams, and Shiva's third eye. Do you know about Shiva's third eye? Yeah. Wisdom. Mm-hmm. And destruction. He only opens it to impart one or the other. Oh, hope it's wisdom. Yeah, not with our luck. That looks right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. It's hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. Look up. The statue's not in the right place. <gasps> ah, right. Uh-uh. <laughs> 
Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. <clears throat> there. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Huh. Yeah. ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. <sighs> okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Shit, they found us! Get you ready! Shit! <laughs> oh, no, no, no! no. Was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. 
He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find out, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All oh, the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our oh, On the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. Uh, He's right. But if you refuse, uh, you will watch them die, uh, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't! Don't try anything stupid. <sighs> Enough. Coward. Sharama.
Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! Testing my patience. He's yielding. Thanks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. unexpected holy shit she's got balls huh I, I don't understand it's an idiom that's because you've got it all twisted my friend Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe that makes no sense not to a selfish prick no you <laughs> see Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily but if he had that would have made Shiva's axe look weak Powerless. Gonna sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. 
I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. The buyers. What do you mean? Just over heard a soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard. Something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. So we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Vista on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just you saying. All right, that all right, maybe... right, all right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in a sort. Of... <laughs>